Welcome everyone. This is the part 10 of the Gromax tutorial series. In this part, we are going to see how to do the production MD run. In the previous part, we have seen how to do the NPT equilibration. So after the NPT equilibration, we need to start the MD production run. In this step, you have to decide how much nanoseconds you need to run. So this is the working folder. To start the MD production run, we need the md.mdp file. To get that, go to mdtutorials.com and go to step 8 production md. Okay, in this uh, page, in this page, you can download the md.mdp. So just uh, click here. So this is the md.mdp file. Press Ctrl S to save this file and save in the working folder that is the desktop slash md and click on save now the file is saved successfully this is the md.mdp file that we have downloaded now so when you open this file you can see the number of steps okay and the number of nanoseconds the simulation should run this is the part we have to specify how much nanoseconds we need to run the simulation. I am going to run this for 100 picoseconds. I am going to edit the time point as necessary. So I am going to run 50,000 steps. Okay. So that is equivalent to 100 picoseconds. By default, it will be given 5,000 steps. Okay. To save the energies, the log file and the coordinates. I am going to change this as 500. So 50,000 steps. Each 500 steps it will save the energies, log file and the coordinates. So every 1 picosecond it will save the energies, coordinates and the log file. So that we will get 100 frames. When you scroll down you can see the temperature coupling groups. This is the protein underscore JSFO. This is one group and water and ions. This is the second group. But in the index.ndx file, the water and ions will be present in a group called CLA. So give this accordingly. Watch the previous video to see how to create the index file and how to manage the index file. So that's all. Now save this file and close this now we have successfully set up the md.mdp file now just open the terminal and give this command gmx grow mpp dash f that is the input mdp file md.mdp and dash c npt.gro this is the structure file from the previous step dash t that is the checkpoint file npt.cpt dash p to update the topology file that is topol.top dash n that is index file index.ndx dash o md.tpr so this is the final tpr file that is we are going to generate from this command so give enter this step will be completed in few seconds after this step is completed the md.tpr file will be generated here okay now you can see the command is completed and md.tpr file is also generated so this is the binary file we are going to use this file in the second command so after grow mpp command we are going to use the gmx md run dash v that is for verbose and dash def enum that is the default name md which means the output files generated by this command will have the default name of md okay for example md.log md.xtz okay so give enter so now the production md run is started and it will run 50,000 steps that is 100 picoseconds if you want to know this time step calculation you watch my other video insulin in water md simulation video 
there I have clearly explained the number of steps and picosecond nanosecond calculation. Now the steps are running. While running every 500 steps, it will save the coordinates, LNG and log in the files. Now the GMX MD run command is completed. You can see starting MD run lysozyme in water. This is displayed because you can see in the topol.top file. This is the topol.top file. When you scroll down here, you can see the name of the system is lysozyme in water. So that's why here lysozyme in water is displayed. You can change the name of the system in the topology file so that it will be displayed in the terminal window. Okay. So that's all. <coughs> md.grow file and md.xtc file these both are generated okay so that's all for md production run in the next video we can see how to view the xtc file and convert the trajectories and the complete analysis okay so thank you for watching if you like this video give a like and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching stay tuned